Do you know this animal? I don't think anybody likes them. This animal is called the rat, which is pretty much a big mouse. And this is the comparison. Everybody wants to get rid of these things. From a farmer to a factory, all the way to cities and houses. In this video, we want to make our wishes come true and exterminate all the mice and rats in the world. What will happen? What will happen if we make the rat go extinct? If you tell anybody that we want to exterminate the rats, nobody will get sad and they might even cheer. That reaction is pretty understandable because it's a dirty animal that could carry diseases. Even if it fears it's in danger, it might bite and there's a higher chance it could give you diseases that it's carrying. There's no sadness, we're gonna get rid of it. From tomorrow, there's not gonna be any more mice or rats. So life is gonna be better without it, right? It might be very good in some places, even though it doesn't look like it helps, but the earth really needs it. The main reason using it for scientific purposes. A mouse is a mammal and it's very similar to a human and that is the main reason it's used in labs. But it's not too long that this has been happening. Before that, they would do it on humans as well. Like Unit 731 in Japan, which we have a clip. Or Joseph Mengele in Auschwitz. So mice and rats are doing a huge favor because the tests are not run on humans anymore. Another important thing about mice and rats is that it's a food source for a lot of animals. So, so why is it the main used animal in labs? Be because they're small, they can reproduce fast, very cheap, easy to take care of, and not a lot of people care that they're doing this to these animals. Imagine they do these experiments on dogs. There will be a riot everywhere. But since it's a rat, nobody cares. If we get rid of these, scientists have to do their experiments on other animals. You can't do it on humans. You can't do it on cats or dogs. They've done experiments on monkeys, but it's very rare and it's kind of a pain to do because when you keep a monkey in a closed area and you run these tests on it, it will turn wild. And that is why they keep giving them painkillers to calm them down. In the food chain, a rat is located pretty much at the bottom. That is why it's an important food source. Rats eat a lot of garbage, plants, and they eat insects as well. On the other side, this animal is the food for a lot of other animals, like different types of birds, like the owl, hawk, and eagles. And on the ground, a lot of snakes eat mice and rats. Other animals that feed on mice is foxes and other types of wild cats. But we have to know that house cats that we all know and love also hunt down mice and rats, but they do not eat them. Scientists say if rats go extinct, we're not saying these animals will go extinct as well, but their population will heavily decline because they don't have a lot of food anymore. The way this animal reproduces is insane. From a couple rats, after one year, you could get 5,080 rats. Can you believe it? The speed of the reproduction is insane. 
If it's two years, the 5,080 is not gonna double. It's gonna multiply by tens. The rat and mice population is six times the human population. So for every human, you have to count six rats or mice. That's the reason too that they say if you see one mouse, look for the other ones because there's a lot more where that came from. There might be tens or even hundreds of mice around that area. In places where they kill predators like birds, foxes, wild cats, and snakes. In these places, the mice are very happy and they can reproduce very quickly because there's no threat anymore. And every corner you look at, you'll find them at that point. You guys know the Black Plague, a very deadly disease that was found in Europe in the Middle Ages. And the disease came from mice. But back then, the European people thought it was coming from cats. And they would literally kill the cats. They didn't know that the cat is the number one enemy of that mouse or rat with that disease. It's good to know that this disease gets so big that it reaches Asia. There is no real statistics, but they say 25 million people died because of the Black Plague. They believe back then that was one third of the world's population. Then they realize the cats aren't the carrier and the disease is coming from rats and mice. But in today's world, a mice can't create disease like this anymore because it doesn't have the power. The mice today are paying back for what they did before. A lot of vaccines finding different diseases, finding cures. All these are being done with mice. But it's not like the mice is doing it. The scientists are using the mice to do these projects and figure everything out. Before we finish the video, let's hear some fun facts about mice. One of them is that their teeth never stop growing and that is why they have to scrape their teeth on everything they find. So it grinds down and gets shorter. If they don't do that, it's gonna get so long that they can't close their mouth. These guys chew everything you can find. Plastic, wood, aluminum, even brick or cement. But cement takes longer. Something like wood is easier. It's good to know that every year, 20% of the world's crops are destroyed because of rats and mice. This creature is found everywhere. Do you know how it got itself everywhere? It got on board to different ships. Let's say it gets onto a ship from Europe and they set sail for months towards America. And when they get to America, a bunch of different rats and mice jump off into American land, somewhere they've never been before and they reproduce and make an insane population. But there's one place you can't find rats, and that's Antarctica. So with all this information, what do you guys think? Do you think we should exterminate this animal or keep it with us? Please comment.